This is how you are actually going to achieve your goals in 2022. For some reason, we all love the whole idea about making New Year's resolutions. We want to make more money, eat healthier, pursue our dreams. Yet after the first month or so of working towards our goals, we simply give up. Now, what if I told you that it actually wasn't your fault that you didn't end up achieving your goals? Stick with me on this one. You see, the reason I say it wasn't your fault that you didn't achieve your goals is because we as a society have tricked ourselves into believing that the start of a new year signifies some sort of internal transformation within us that's somehow magically going to enable and empower us to achieve the things that we desire most in this world. However, a wise man once said, the new year is nothing new. And you know who that man was? It was me. I said that. Now, if there's anything that 2021 has taught me, it's that we have very little control over the future. We often get too caught up in making extravagant plans for our future selves that we forget to live life in the present moment. And I think that's where we go wrong all the time. See, the more you fantasize and obsess over the future, the more disconnected you become from reality. Don't get me wrong though, it is absolutely crucial that you never give up on whatever dreams you may have. But as Eleanor Roosevelt once said, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. Once you come to terms with the fact that you have very little to no control over what the future holds, that is the moment in which I believe you regain genuine control over your life. Living in the present moment is going to open so many doorways for you to actually take practical steps towards achieving your goals for this new year. Okay, I want to do a quick thought exercise with you right now. Close your eyes and picture yourself walking up the- I said close your eyes. Picture yourself walking up the side of a mountain. It's a beautiful day outside and the path ahead of you is lined with the most colorful flowers and all around you are the cutest little animals. But oh shoot, you're too focused on making it to the top of the mountain that you forget to enjoy the journey along the way. You don't even notice the nice weather or the colorful flowers or the cute animals because you're too concerned with making it to the top of the mountain. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. What I'm trying to say is that in pursuit of achieving your new goals this year, I highly advise against becoming so consumed with what's at the end of the rainbow that you forget to enjoy the rainbow itself. Trust me, if you are able to enjoy the process along the way, reaching your goals at the end of the year is going to be that much sweeter. All right, the moment you've been waiting for, let's get into how you are actually going to achieve your goals in 2022. First things first, I want you to make a list of five, just five goals that you want to achieve. While it is great to dream big, think practically about what can be accomplished in a year's time. Basically, just don't be writing a bunch of I want to get married, have kids, and retire all by the end of 2022. Be optimistic, yes, of course, but also be realistic with yourself. You know your situation the best. Don't be afraid to use this as an opportunity to be as specific as you can be. Quantify things. Heck, maybe even put a date next to each of them if you're feeling bold enough. For example, here are my five goals for 2022. I haven't filled out all the details for my goals this year, but coming in at number one, obviously I'm doing this YouTube thing, so I wanna get monetized and hit 10,000 subscribers on this platform by the end of the year. At number two, I have a business called Another Good Human, and this year I want to make it profitable. Number three, I'm working on my real estate license right now, so I want to be able to sell my first property by the end of the year. And number four, I want to read 10 books. Look, I hate reading with a passion, but I know how good they are for you and self-development and all of that kind of stuff, so I want to put myself out there and actually do it. And last but not least, I want to get absolutely shredded. Basically, I work out all the time, but it's hard for me to put on muscle, so I want to put on five to 10 pounds of muscle this year and actually put in the work to do that. Next, I want you to set up KPIs or key performance indicators, which serve as quantifiable measures of performance over time for a specific objective. KPIs are typically used in the business setting, but the concept remains the same when applied to your personal life as well. For example, let's take a closer look at one of my goals for 2022. By the end of the year, I want to get monetized on YouTube and hit 10,000 subscribers. You think we can do it? I think we can. If you know anything about being a creator, you know how difficult it can be trying to reach your goals. So in order to streamline the process, I'm going to create targets for myself to shoot for, milestones to gauge my progress, and insights that help myself make better decisions. If my growth objectives are going to include posting one to two times per week every week, then I'm going to focus on the numbers of views and subscribers I get weekly so that I get a better idea about what I need to fix or improve upon for the next video. And obviously KPIs can get a little bit more complicated than that, but I encourage you to sit down and actually think of some effective systems that will help you track your progress throughout the year. And last but certainly not least, I want you to start today. You heard me. Whether you are watching this before, on, or even after January 1st, 2022, I want you to start working on your goals right as soon as this video is over. Look, I know it's going to be messy at first and you're not going to fully understand what you're doing, but here's the thing. Say your goal is exactly one mile away from where you are right now. 
You even taking one step forward and moving just an inch is more than nothing at all. This journey is not gonna be easy. Fighting for what you believe in in life is never easy. But if you can get into the mindset today that you simply cannot afford to start tomorrow, then you're gonna be one step further than you were yesterday, and that's all that matters. I hope you all enjoyed this video on how to actually achieve your goals in 2022. If you found it helpful or entertaining, please consider subscribing and helping me get one step closer to reaching one of my own goals for this new year. Well, all right, wishing you the best of luck. Go out there and make 2022 the year that changes your life for good. I believe in you.